Well, good morning. It is 6.07 a.m. I'm actually on my way home from boot camp, hence why I look completely disheveled and sweaty and disgusting. It was funny because when I got to boot camp this morning, I was like, man, it's a little chilly. I could transition into t-shirts before it gets really cold and then I transition into sweatshirts. But listen, to 15 minutes in to my workout this morning, I was like, I'm so glad I'm wearing a tank top and short because now I'm hot and sweaty, but my workout is done. I feel really good that my workout is done. It is Monday, so kicking the week off on a healthy foot. I have some updates for you guys. I want to talk a little bit about my game plan, so to speak, for the next month or so as far as food and weight loss and all of that. We're going to talk about this and do a bit of a diet update a little bit later this morning. Also, last week you guys renowningly asked for a Halloween home tour, so I'll give that. So we're going to do that today. And then Target Circle Week actually started yesterday. So I'm going to go to Target today. They are having some amazing deals, so I thought I would share with you guys the deals that Target is having. This is my favorite time of year to actually go shop at Target, and I do need to pick up a few kind self-care type of things. We need to pick up some, I need to grab some more of Palmer's bones and I'm gonna pick up my Halloween candy as well at Target. So we're gonna do a Target run today. I'm doing a slow cooker dinner tonight. So we will get everything into the crock pot for tonight's dinner. Home, I am ready for the day, rocking my Tis the Season to be Spooky sweatshirt. This is actually from Timu last year as well as these super fun earrings with a skull. I'm feeling Halloween. People in my neighborhood are decorating. Halloween is my Favorite, one of my very favorite holidays. Like I said, we'll do a little Halloween home tour later today, but I need some breakfast. Like I said, I'm hungry. So for breakfast, I'm going to have a scramble and some fruit. I really wanna focus on whole food. So we'll talk about that a little bit more later with that kind of nutrition update I wanted to share with you. So I think I'm going to do one whole egg and two or three egg whites. Let's, I wanna see how much two egg whites makes, I may add a third. And then I have some smoked ham. I'm going to dice up one or two slices of that. And then we are going to add some light shredded cheese and some baby spinach. I love putting spinach in scrambles omelets because it wilts down and you get in all of those good for you greens. And then I have a little bit of grapes left in a bowl. They're not looking so hot. Some of them look okay, some of them not. So I'm going to scoop out some grapes as a side. So here is my breakfast. I've got my scramble. It looks so incredibly good. And then I just counted out 15 grapes. That was about all I could get out of that batch. That was still good. So this is going to be my breakfast. So I'm going to mix up my creatine. I just finished my breakfast. I always have my creatine after. This is the One Up Nutrition in Citrus Punch. This is my favorite, actually One Up is my favorite creatine and this flavor is really, really good. So I do one scoop in my Hydro Jug and then I mix it up with my frother. If you hear Palmer squeaking, he just got a new B-A-L-L, -L, so it's a very exciting moment here. And I just add in some ice. I do have 20% off at One Up, I will link it for you. See, my mom has coffee, I have a treat. <gasps> do we want treats? Oh, it's a treat. There you go, Bubba. Oh, this is a good boy. Here you go, honey. Oh, there you go. So for dinner tonight, I am making slow cooker sweet potato chili. It is about nine in the morning. I prefer to cook my chili on low, so I need a good four to six hours. So we're gonna go ahead and get it started. So let me show you what you'll need for the recipe. So you're going to need white vinegar, two cans of chili beans or one large can, one huge can of crushed tomatoes, minced garlic, tomato sauce, and diced tomatoes, honey, two large, two medium to large sweet potatoes, an onion, a pound of 96 or 93% ground beef, chili powder, Italian seasoning, and salt and pepper. 
So I'm going to get my pound of ground beef brief. I'm going to get my pound of ground beef browning on the stove, chop up my onion and peel and dice my sweet potatoes. So I've added my diced up onion and a big scoop of minced garlic to a skillet. I'm going to let this cook down until the onions are soft add in my pound of ground beef and allow that to cook completely. So I've added the ground beef, onion, garlic mixture to my crock pot. Now I'm going to add in the chopped up sweet potato and then all of my canned goods. You want two cans of chili beans, a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, 15 ounce can of crushed or diced tomatoes. Not crushed, sorry. You want a can, a 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes and then a big ginormous can of crushed tomatoes. Now I'm going to give this just a quick mix before I add in all of the seasoning. We're going to do two tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons of white vinegar, and then all of your seasonings, chili powder, Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper. And then we're going to give that a stir. Just make sure your seasoning is mixed in really well. And like I said, you can cook this on high for two to three hours or on low for four to six. You just want to make sure those sweet potatoes are soft, that they're cooked completely through. So I would rather cook it on low for four to six hours. So I'm gonna get my lid on and we will get it cooking. So I have a coaching call in 30 minutes. It's 9.33 a.m. We just started our crock pot and now I'm going to whip myself up a quick coffee to sip on during my coaching call. I've gotta get through my emails. I have a load of laundry in the dryer. We will chat while I fold laundry about what I talked about earlier about nutrition and diet over the next month or so. So I'm going to use more, I'm going to use my Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's pumpkin spice concentrate. This is a one to two ratio, one part coffee, two parts water. I like mine a little stronger, so I normally do one part coffee, one part water. And then I'm going to add my Chobani zero sugar. This is really good, nice clean ingredients for a zero sugar creamer. So here is my coffee, you guys, this is incredible. I did two tablespoons or 32 milliliters of the creamer. That's 40 calories and one point on WW. I don't count points for the pumpkin spice concentrate, so my coffee is one point. I got to thinking that by the time I get through all my coaching calls, I'll be eating a little bit later lunch. So with my coffee, I'm going to have my Alyssa's Oatmeal Bites. I love these. These have nice clean ingredients. They're basically like a little oatmeal cookie with fiber, a little bit of protein, more fiber, whole grains, nice clean ingredients. Love these. I just buy these off of the Alyssa's Cookies website. A lot of you have reached out and asked if I have a discount code and I do not. So I just pay for them off of her website. I know that there's some stores locally you can find them. There is no stores near me that I can find them at. So I just order them online, but I'll link her website down below. So I am going to head out the door to Target to shop Target Circle Days. I'll pop up here on the screen the dates of the Target Circle specials. This is the best time to shop. I'm telling you, it is. there are incredible deals. They even do daily deals, so there's new things on sale every day. I'm gonna do my shopping and then I'll tell you about all of the amazing Target Circle deals. So let me grab my water. I am on my third, third cup of water. I'm gonna take this with me and let's go to Target. All right, we made it to Target. I'm really excited for Target Circle Days. I'm gonna show you guys everything that's part of the Target Circle. And then of course, of course we'll do some shopping. Look at these pumpkins. Also, each day during Target Circle Week, they have deals of the day. One of them is 40% off sleepwear for the entire family. So all sweatshirts, sweaters, and bottoms are 30% off. That is a really good deal. That's everybody, men, women, and children. 
And then they have amazing toy deals. They have a Lego deal. And then if you spend 40, you get $10 off. If you spend 75 or more, you get $20 off. That's a really good deal. So this is a great time to pick up toys and things for the holidays. I'm definitely taking advantage of this deal. Halloween candy, costumes, everything is buy one, get one 50% off. So I'm actually going to grab all my candy for Halloween. If you can't keep it in your house, don't grab it, but I'm just gonna pack it away, out of sight, out of mind. So I did the buy one, get one half off of the big bags. I did the M&M mix and then the Reese's mix. And then these are $3.79 a bag. So buy one, get one half off. So I did the Swedish Fish Sour Patch Kids and Nerd Gummy Clusters. I've actually never had these, but I know that kids love them. So I'm good for my Halloween candy. I also got some Halloween treats for my dogs and then Palmer's turkey bones that he loves. They also have a lot of food deals. So Gatorade 12 packs, the 12 ounce are 20% off. And Pepsi Mountain Dew and more 12 packs, 50% off. So buy one, get one 50% off. Wow, look at these deals. So Cheetos, Doritos, Fundings, and Sun Chips, $1.99. And Frito-Lay Party Size Snacks, Dips, and Salsa, buy one, get one half off. Cereal and Granola, buy one, get one 50% off. And Coffee and Tea, buy one, get one 50% off. Wow, there's some amazing deals. Here's another amazing deal. Buy one, get one 50% off of all of the frozen pizzas. So here's a deal you don't wanna pass up. On household items, spend $50 or more, get a $15 gift card. That's an incredible deal. So today's deal of the day is 25% off of all Magnolia Hearth and Hand. I'm going to look because this is 100% my aesthetic. I don't know if I need anything, but I definitely need to take a look at 25% off. Also, all of the threshold brand of bedding and bath is 30% off. Here's another really good deal. Spend $40 or more and get a $10 gift card. So that's like 20% off, 25% off. So I did take I did take advantage of the buy $40 of health products. So I got some girl products. And then at the bottom of this bag, I got some cortisone cream, some deodorant for Troy. I mean, you got a $10 gift card when you spent 40 and the dog bones were actually 30% off. Buy one, get one 30% off. I had no idea. So big score at Target. Definitely check out Target Circle Week. I'll go ahead and put the dates here on the screen for you. I'll actually link everything in the description box, all of the sale information, all the links, everything will be available to you. You can even shop on target.com. So for me, Target is quite a drive. You can go online and get the Target Circle deals. Just finished my last coaching call of the day. I'm starving. So I'm going to make some lunch. I do have this Trader Joe's Caesar style salad kit. It's starting to turn a little bit. So I'm going to finish this up. There's one serving of everything left in here. This has croutons, shredded Parmesan cheese, and the Caesar dressing. It is 130 calories per serving. And that is for the salad and the dressing about one and a half cups. So I'm going to weigh everything out on my food scale. And then I'm actually going to pop real good chicken strips into my air fryer. I like to chop these up and put them on top of a salad, kind of like a chicken Caesar salad. These are my all time favorite chicken strips. Chicken nuggets are the real good brand. So you get four ounces. It's 120 calories with 21 grams of protein. An amazing way to get in lots of protein. So I'm going to throw these in my air fryer, put together my salad, and I'll be back to show you my lunch. So here is my chicken Caesar salad. This looks Amazing, I cannot wait to dig in. Love that I can get so much protein from those real good chicken strips. Get him, Lola! Get him! Yeah, get your brother! Get him! Oh yeah, get your baby! Get him, Lola! Yeah! Palmer, you sound so vicious. Get him, Lola. Oh, he's batting you, Lola. Yeah, get him, Lola. Let's do a Halloween home tour. You guys were really excited to see how I decorated for Halloween. We're gonna start here in my office. I'm going to take you through the inside of my house. Then we'll go outside. I did just minor things to the outside. I'm excited for my new house to decorate the inside and outside. But let me show you what we did for Halloween 2024.
It is afternoon snack time and we're gonna test out this together. So if you saw my massive grocery haul that I uploaded on Saturday, I found these drinks at Costco. So these are from the brand Nuri. It says ultra filtered milkshake, 30 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, 150 calories. So I love the slate milk. I buy the slate milk on Amazon and I said in my grocery haul, this could be a dupe for that. So this is in the chocolate flavor. It was actually the only flavor they had at Costco. It was a case of these for $19.99. So with the slate milk, I like to sometimes make iced coffee with it. You can drink it by itself. You can use it as the liquid base of a protein shake or a smoothie, but I want to try it all by itself today. Really test it out, see what we think of it. So I'm going to have that. And then I'm also going to have bada bean, bada boom. So I also, I shared these in my favorites video. I get these on Amazon. They're little individual packs, super good price. I love these. They're such a great crunchy snack option. I'll link the little pack I bought off of Amazon, but you get individual packets. They're 110 calories. They have six grams of protein. They have some fiber. They are a really good substitute to corn nuts that actually have fiber and protein and better ingredients. So you get some sea salt, some mesquite barbecue, and some sweet sriracha. I think today I'm gonna do the mesquite barbecue. This is probably my favorite flavor, although all of them are really, really good. So I'm gonna do the mesquite barbecue, bada bean, bada boom, and the nuri milk. So let's crack into this, try it out together. All right, let's try this protein milk, woo, out together. Ooh. That is really good. It literally tastes like chocolate milk. It's thick like chocolate milk. This would be really good in a coffee, would be great in the base of a smoothie or protein shake. Wow, this is better than slate milk. It doesn't have any artificial sweetener aftertaste. Slate milk can kind of have a different aftertaste. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So let's chat while I fold laundry. I think this will be the perfect time for us to chat a little bit. So I'm going to be making some changes to not only my diet, but kind of what I'm doing for the next few months. So if you didn't know, I actually go to Hawaii November 11th. So almost a month from today. I mean, just a couple days shy of a month from today. And I really want to... I guess lean down a little bit, maybe lose a couple pounds before I head to Hawaii, just because I don't track on vacation. I enjoy food on vacation. I plan on having malasadas every day that I'm in Hawaii. So I wanted to make, so I wanted to be able to enjoy myself and I'll be in my bathing suit a lot. We'll be doing a lot of physical activity and excursions. So I really want to just be my best self when I go to Hawaii. So what I'm going to be doing for at least the next month up until my trip to Hawaii is I'm going to be focusing on a pretty whole food approach to my eating and I started that today. So you may have noticed a little bit of a shift in the foods that I'm eating and just really trying to focus on whole food as much as possible. At least 80% of what I'm eating being whole real food. Obviously I still have two protein supplements every day. I will continue to have two protein supplements every day. That just helps me get in my protein. I also redid my personal macros and calories to put me in a little bit of a deficit. So going from maintenance to a little bit more of a deficit 
not a big deficit, a pretty small deficit, honestly, less than 500 calories a day off of my maintenance is going to be my goal. And again, the hopes of all of that is to just do my best, look my best when I go on my trip to Hawaii, allow myself a little bit of wiggle room for potential weight fluctuation. I typically don't gain actual fat or weight on vacation, but there is the pos but there's typically some weight fluctuation, which and sometimes actual weight gain. I think last time I did gain maybe a pound or so on my trip. And I just, like I said, want to have that little bit of flexibility for my trip to Hawaii. It's an 80-20 whole food approach. If I can get even more than 80%, I'm really going to shoot for that. I'm just going to limit the heavily processed foods that I'm eating. I'm going to limit the sweet treats that I've been consuming. I told you guys, uh, couple months ago that I had eaten an entire bag of gummies from TikTok in a week and was kind of sliding back into some of my old habits. Well, I feel like I've corrected that for the most part, but then I bought candy corn. I shared it in my grocery haul. I actually bought two bags because I have this cute little Frankenstein bowl on my counter and I like to keep candy in there during the holidays. But what I've realized between the TikTok gummies and the candy corn is that whatever candy goes in that bowl needs to be candy that I don't over consume and I wanted to share this with you guys that I ate those two bags of I ate those two bags of candy corn in just a couple of weeks so every time I would go in my kitchen I would just scoop out a few pieces of candy corn so even though I've lost 140 pounds I've done really well at maintaining that weight loss I still struggle I still struggle. I'm human. I have an addiction to food. I have obesity in my genes and I still struggle with certain foods being front and center in my house and for me, candy corn apparently is one of those things that I just can't have in abundance in my home. So I stopped purchasing, Palmer's in here, he wants something because I'm in the laundry room. I stopped purchasing, so I haven't purchased any more candy corn and right now in that candy bowl, all I have in there is those little packs of gummies from Trader Joe's and because they're in packages, I don't just grab them and eat them randomly throughout the day. So that has been something that I'm able to keep in my house without overindulging. So I'm glad that I found those. They look cute in my bowl. They can stay there through Halloween. You also saw that I bought the Halloween candy at Target. That's all candy that really I'm not that excited excited about. And I like to do that too, where I just buy a lot of the candy that maybe doesn't, that I don't overeat. I love gummy candy. The Nerds clusters don't interest me at all. And I didn't buy any other gummy candy, mainly chocolate. And I do love chocolate. Don't get me wrong, but I always have healthy chocolate options in my house. I have those chocolate filled pumpkins from Whole Foods. I have the Tony Chocoloni chocolate. So I don't feel like I have to reach into the Halloween candy so much. So I'm still learning. This is still a major learning process for me. Having to really continue to work on my relationship with food, it's not 100% healed clearly. And continuing to maintain my weight while not restricting food, but being mindful of how much whole food versus junk food and processed food I'm eating. Test out for the next month or so, uh, or so, just really focusing on whole real food and mindful choices. I got to thinking that maybe, just maybe, this should be something that I focus on through the end of the year. So basically for the next three months, the hardest three months of the year, what if I focused on an 80-20 really committed to an 80-20 whole food focus, not bringing in the foods that I know that I'm prone to overeating are my trigger foods. Obviously enjoying my trip to Hawaii, enjoying the food in Hawaii, enjoying the holidays. I'm not going to restrict if I have events. I'm not going to limit what I'm eating and be too concerned about the whole foods at events and the holidays. For the rest of the next three months, what if I just focused on that and really focused on building that habit that hopefully I can continue into the new year with, which will again, help me manage my triggers, manage the foods that I overeat, manage my help with my relationship with food, help me feel my best, look my best. So we're doing this as a one month test up until I go to Hawaii. I will let you know if I plan on continuing past my trip to Hawaii. Honestly, I think it makes sense for me to just try this for the last three months of the year since those are really the hardest and then allow myself the flexibility on holidays and special events. So that's kind of what I've been doing. I'm really going to focus on a calorie deficit, getting in my protein, just really 80, 20 or more whole real food, lots of fruits and vegetables and just as much quality protein and quality food as I can consume in the next one to three months. That's what I'm doing and I'm excited about it. I'm feeling really good. I've already noticed today that I'm less 
cravey for snacky foods since I haven't had any snacky foods really today. And that is one thing I've already noticed. So I imagine that that will continue to improve as the days and weeks go by. But I'm excited for this and it's just a little trial run. It's a little trial run till I go to Hawaii. And then, like I said, if I enjoy it and I really think it would benefit me in the long term, this could be my goal for the rest of the year. And then in my Friday weigh-in videos, you will see weigh-in updates. Let's see how my body responds to this. Not only just on the scale, but just how I feel. I've been feeling a little bit more lethargic. I've been feeling like I'm not a hundred percent at my workouts, which is really Really important to me and I think it's just the foods that I've been choosing. I just haven't been choosing the best foods. Let's be honest. I have been a bit on the struggle bus. Like I said, I'm human and I'm still learning. I'm learning right along with you guys. So I'm excited for this. Let's just kind of see. Let's just see what the next month, couple months does for us. But I wanted to give you guys an update. I'm always honest and transparent with you. And that is kind of where I'm at. Today is day one and so far so good. And I have this sourdough bread left from my lunch meal prep when I made those sandwiches. I think I'm just going to add a little bit of light butter and some garlic salt, throw it in the oven for some garlic bread. So here is what the bread is looking like. I used some light butter. I used the last of that Parmesan cheese from that salad kit since it was there was still some left. A little bit of garlic salt and some parsley. Look at how good this bread looks. It smells amazing. So here is my dinner, a serving of the chili and then one slice of the homemade garlic cheese bread. End of the night, I'm going to make myself a yogurt bowl for dessert. This is going to help me get in the rest of my protein for the day. So I am making a pumpkin inspired yogurt bowl. So I have the light and fit Greek yogurt in pumpkin pie. I'm going to add one half of a cup, so a full serving of Catalina Crunch. That's going to give me 11 grams of protein for only 110 calories. This is the honey graham flavor. I like all the flavors. The cinnamon one is my favorite, but I'm using this one up. I buy these off of Nutrition, So I'll link Nutrition down below for you with the discount. And then I'm going to do one tablespoon of the Trader Joe's pumpkin butter. It's just so good mixed in with the pumpkin yogurt and the Catalina crunch. And then I'm going to do just the tiniest bit of the pumpkin whipped cream from Target. So that is a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me, going to Target, the Halloween home tour, doing laundry together, getting those updates. I definitely am excited about this little change in my diet, change in my way of eating for a little bit. So if you enjoyed today's What I Eat in a Day, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. And don't forget to stop by the description box. I'll have everything linked that I shared with you today, as well as nutrition coaching and my Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive. We would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Wednesday. See you next time.